Okay, good morning. I'm going to try to do the demo with my phone being held by a coffee cup today. Hopefully it works. It's kind of a bad angle, but um, we're not doing the um, puppy chow again just because I wanted to do something a little bit more Halloween-like because the Thursday and Friday is the 29th and 30th, so right before Halloween. So we're going to do like a play on Christmas cookies. They're the peanut butter blossoms, but we're going to make them into the spiders. So... Um, some of these ingredients you might not have at home, so you might have to substitute. So the first one is shortening. So shortening is basically just um, hydrogenated oil, which that means it's thickened, so it like makes it the consistency of butter. So um, if you don't have this, you can use butter. It will probably affect the flavor a little bit, but it will be, it, they'll still be fine. So it looks like that, just like butter. It's just white because it's just thickened oil, basically. That's what hydrogenated means. So with this um, consistency, it's like peanut butter as well. You have to pack it down into the measuring cup. And it's pretty greasy. This is like what people use to grease pans too a lot of times, like when you're baking. This is also like, the only thing I use this for at home is like making biscuits or making these cookies, like peanut butter cookies. But other than that, I don't really use it for much. You could put it in tortillas, I suppose, if you didn't want to use lard. Okay, so put it in there, and then you're going to mix that up with your uh, peanut butter and your sugars to cream it, the creamy method. I'm making sure that they can see, hopefully, what I'm doing. So like I said, if you don't have Crisco, you could substitute it with butter, or I guess you could substitute it with lard if you have lard at home, too. I don't use lard, so I'm not sure if it would make it taste any different. But it's the same consistency. Okay, and then the peanut butter is a third of a cup. This peanut butter is supposed to be no stir peanut butter. It is so, so greasy. So, um, I kind of have to stir it every time because it's separated. The oil has separated so much. Okay, so a third of a cup of that. And you can see how like oily it is it's ridiculous pack that into the cup as well it's like those really healthy peanut butters you know like when you buy the super healthy ones with no sugar they have all that oil on the top that's what this is like and i can't even stir it together like it's just separated and it's not expired it's just it was a brand new container that's been sitting in the pantry since the pandemic basically so I think probably just being in there without the air conditioner on or something I don't know I'm gonna have to get a new liner for this pan okay and then um, oh my goodness I'm a dork what did I do guys it was <laughs> I'm demoing and it's the wrong amount it's supposed to be three-fourths I did not do that right first hour again what is wrong with me guys it's like I haven't cooked this whole pandemic okay so I'm gonna put that back in the measuring cup and I'm gonna get more so it's actually a lot more than one-third cup why did I measure that why did I think it said one-third last hour it's totally three-fourths that's way more no wonder why the cookies didn't taste that peanut buttery to me because we only used a third cup of, of peanut butter okay so you're going to have to, to measure a third of a cup, you need the half cup measuring cup and then the quarter cup measuring cup, or you can use the quarter cup three times because there's no three fourths cup measuring cup. Unless some Tupperware that that's like used almost all the peanut butter because it's so separated. Um, there's some Tupperware brands that do make a three fourths, but and then I closed it, but not these commercial grade ones. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. And first hour doesn't even realize that I did that wrong. It's a good thing I didn't uh, post that recipe, I suppose. Okay, so then another fourth cup of some run of peanut butter. And then it's a third cup of sugar and a third cup of brown sugar. So maybe that's where I got confused with the one third cup. So we're gonna use granulated sugar, which is just your Basic sugar, one third of a cup, and then one third of a cup of brown sugar. And then remember that has to be packed in there. This is 
just about gone. And with the apple crisp I told you guys, you could use either sugar and it probably wouldn't affect the flavor. This one might affect the flavor if you only have one type of sugar, but you know, because you're cooking from home and you might not have all the ingredients, that's okay. Okay, so pack the brown sugar in there and then you're gonna cream the, the peanut butter, shortening and sugars first. And if you don't have a mixture, just cream it by hand. And then to that, you're gonna add your egg, your milk, and your vanilla. Now, in class, guys, you're gonna have this recipe because this makes four dozen. So to half an egg, I'm sorry, I have to touch this. To half an egg, you take the egg and then you like scramble it up and then you split it in half the best you can. It'll probably be about one and a half tablespoons, but you just kind of have to eyeball it, but that's the only way you can have an egg. There's no other way. But for right now, when I'm demoing it, I'm doing a whole recipe, so it's one egg. But because there's only two of you, you don't need four dozen cookies. Okay, vanilla is a teaspoon. And then two tablespoons of milk. And I'm putting that all into the creaming mixture. You can tell I'm not a blogger or a famous recipe maker because I'm so bad at these recordings. Plus, I don't even know if you can hear me very well with the mask and stuff. Okay, once that's mixed together, then you're going to add all of your dry ingredients. Okay, which is flour, it's one and a half cups. Okay, remember, level it off. And then baking soda and salt. a teaspoon, a teaspoon of baking soda. So remember this one is the baking soda. And then a half teaspoon of salt. And I didn't realize it, but this is really coarse salt, but you can't, it doesn't, affect it in the recipe like I couldn't tell that there was coarse salt in there. Okay, and then mix that up. Can you go get me another one of these sheet liners? They're like on the rack, the green rack where all the bowls are. The bowls, yeah, like kind of by like when you're going into the pantry. And so I destroyed this one with the peanut butter. Okay, so this is the smallest disher that we have in class, which is like three-fourths of an ounce. If we had smaller, I would say to make them a little bit smaller, but we're just gonna do this size. So like probably, um, the recipe says one inch balls. So this is just a little bit, thank you, a little bit bigger, so it doesn't make quite four dozen, just a few, I mean, actually quite a few less. Um, but they're gonna be a little bit bigger. And then I have, what did I do with it? I did have sugar. Oh, right here. So I have granulated sugar just in this cup to roll it in. So when you get the ball, you just roll it into a ball and then you dip it in the, sh in the sugar. So you coat the peanut butter ball in sugar, okay? 
Um, and then you don't have to push them down or anything because they'll kind of spread out when they bake. And then when you put the spider on the ball, it will um, kind of like crack. It's supposed to, and then it melts. And I'm gonna show the online people like the final version. But basically, you make the balls, cut them in the sh or coat them in the sugar, and then you're gonna bake them at 375 for eight to ten minutes. Um, once they're done, as soon as you take them out, you put the chocolate on it, um, the Reese's cup, and then once they kind of start melting, you put the eyeballs on, and then you melt chocolate in a bowl, and then you're gonna use either a pastry bag or a Ziploc bag to do the legs. So you put it in there, cut a little hole, and then you do the legs. And I'm gonna go get a completed one to show you. I'm not gonna have you sit here and go through the process of me making them. I'll show you the inversion. Okay, so once it's cooked, you put the, so this is just a Reese's peanut butter cup on there, some eyeballs, and then you do the little spider legs. Okay, so that's the completed cookie. And I'll have the recipe posted on um, your Schoology under recipes, and I'm also posting another one that's just like a basic kind of like butter cookie um, that you could do this with in case you're allergic to peanut butter. And then you could do like a Rolo or you could do a Hershey Kiss or a different kind of chocolate on top other than a peanut butter cup. All right, have a good day.